Agman made a video on miracles, claiming that we have no rational reason to believe in miracles because we always have other explanations besides the miraculous one for any event that we may witness. And then Tool Time made a response saying that this is basically Hume's arguments and that uh, we, we never have rational reasons for believing in miracles. And then Mig Killer jumped in and said that this is sort of begging the question in favor of uh, 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 skepticism against miracles and so forth. And it's been an interesting discussion. I hope everyone here has been following it. But everyone involved in this discussion so far seems to have really missed the larger point, which is whether or not there are miracles is irrelevant, because the argument of from miracles in favor of the existence of God is invalid on its face. And so to demonstrate that, let's just grant all the premises for the sake of argument. Uh, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll take the one that Lee Strobel is most fond of, this idea that you know, we have uh, all these facts that attest to the resurrection of Jesus Christ and so forth. You know, we have the empty tomb and the, the testimony of the prophets and or the, you know, the witnesses, etc. and so forth. And obviously I think a lot of these premises are deeply flawed, but let's grant Strobel all that for the sake of argument. So Jesus died genuinely. He was actually brought back from the dead. How does this prove that God exists? The assumption seems to be that if Jesus was in fact resurrected from the dead, then the only plausible explanation of this is the fact that he is God and that therefore God exists. But really, if you just think about it for a second, you can see that that doesn't make any sense at all. There's all sorts of other alternate explanations. Maybe Satan is just fucking with Lee Strobel. Ever think about that? Maybe Satan really wants... Strobel on all these other Christians to believe in Jesus because he's actually a false prophet. What better way to get people to go to hell than to convince them that someone else actually is the son of God when in fact that person is not the son of God? That would be a fantastic trick on the devil's part. Or maybe it's not the devil. Maybe it's some sort of trans-dimensional spiritual being that just happened to be passing by and can violate our laws of physics and biology willy-nilly. They saw Jesus, they dug his style, they decided to make him the beneficiary of their new experimental resurrection technology. I have no idea, but my point is that no one does. You can't go from the uh, fact that Jesus was resurrected, even if you grant that's a fact, to the claim that therefore he was God and he exists. That's just invalid. The night sky could rearrange itself so that the stars spell out, I am God, I am real, believe in me, and that still would not give us a good reason for believing in God. All it would give us a reason for believing is that something really weird is going on. Even if that is in fact a miracle, even if it is a violation of the laws of nature, it is still a leap to believe that God is responsible for that. Now, you might be saying, well, sure, the argument for miracles isn't a deductive proof for the existence of God, doesn't guarantee the existence of God, but surely it gives us a good reason to believe in the existence of God. No, it's a strong inductive argument, is it not? No, it's not. The very nature of miracles is that they're so bizarre that no one is in any position at all to judge what is the best explanation for them. So, indeed, it may be God, or it may be the devil, or it may be something else entirely. But no one can claim to be in a position to look at a genuine miracle and assess and say, that is best explained by appealing to God. So in sum, the problem is not just that for any alleged miracle, there are more plausible, non-miraculous explanations for it. The problem is, furthermore, that even if you have a genuine miracle, that is not sufficient for concluding that therefore God exists, much less that a particular God exists. There are other miraculous but non-theistic explanations for any given miracle, even assuming that it is, in fact, a miracle. Which, of course... It is not.